organizer. Women start to be more project energy from back. Women are structured organizer. Women are better teacher because they have the ability to be more structured and organize with certain roles in the classroom. Men are energetic and have the ability to be more structured and organized but do not have the patience for more structure with their planning. Men are not born to be organized and structured with truth and boundaries. They need to set limits with, with truth and be consistent with that they need to do. Four, females are more patient. Women tend to be more patient than men and more able to deal with different types of students. In elementary education, women tend to be more projects and they combine the structure for their students, which make them effective when dealing with younger ones. They are more Females are more empathy and better listener than men. Five, another basic fact is that the country is endowed with intellectual among women for in different fields. These women can contribute their own quota of lifting morals for the development of our society and country at large. With these various evidence of mine, I believe my honorable guests, George and audiences are convinced that females are the best teacher. Thanks. Thank you for your presentation. We call on the last speaker from the opposing group, Ali bin Adam. Good day to you all. I am Ali bin Adam. I want to put the science of wishes. Participation of women in teaching profession should be encouraged more than that of men. This is how we are educated in natural tendency to get treated men with. Many teachers are vibrant. They are more laid back and not the picky about the television. They create a wide atmosphere in the classroom. This, they create a wide atmosphere in the classroom. This makes the students comfortable. They are methodically and fairly bridging the gap between brilliant and less brilliant, creative and less creative students. Whereas women are sometimes emotionally influenced in this aspect. Many teachers help themselves from the students. This helps the students to ask more questions on the area they are not clear. But women always expect the student to be quiet and perfect. Men are bringing about meaningful learning through a method that are morally and pedagogically acceptable and employment and employment methods that are regular to spiritual and moral objects. If you consider obviously the cost of all any establishment are majorly occupied by women are higher compared to men. If you consider this economic sabotage, you can see that the financial implications will not be favorable at the end of the annual financial statement. Obviously, the cost of running any establishment are majorly occupied by women are higher when compared to men. If you consider this economic sabotage, you can see that the financial implications will not be favorable at the end of the annual financial statement. Finally, Mr. Chairman, Dr. Fama, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to conclude that participation of women in teaching profession should not be encouraged by the number of men. Thanks. Conclusion from these four speakers from the various groups. So we call on uh, Halima Hassan, be the chief speaker from the proposing group to conclude whatever she has for us. Good day to you all. I remain Halima Hassan. The participation of female teachers has to be encouraged so that women can then perform their own duty as a citizen of society to see and believe that women are the best teachers if given the right, privilege, choose and opportunity. Finally, I would like to conclude here that that Mr. John, my opponents, and the audience have seen that participation of women in teaching profession should be encouraged more than that of men in order to foster unity, progress, harmony, and we feel in terms of training the younger ones. I want to thank you all for the opportunity bestowed on me to share this viewpoint of mine. Thanks. Abukare Yunus, please come and give us your conclusion. Karim is my name. Men in fact effective teaching. If you can analyze the saying of Adi 1989, who says, an effective teaching ensures that the surface approach to learning is replaced by deeper student giving approach to learning that analyze, develop, create, demonstrate, and understand it. Students need to initiate learning and maintain engagement in their development as independent lifelong learner. I want to ask a question. Maternity leave, antenatal, are meant for who? Women. If the answer is women, when will they have the time to impact the effective teaching? With all this agacious point of mind, I believe that however just good judge and good looking audience agree with me that participation of women in teaching professions should not be encouraged more than men. Thanks. Anybody that want to contribute among the students? Okay. Good day to you all. Anita is my name. I want to support the topic which says Participation of women in teaching profession should be encouraged more than that of men. 
I would like to favor my son with the following point. Now, men make best use of a teacher candidate. A teacher candidate has the ability to successfully deliver instruction, performance and behavior. A teacher candidate has the ability to successfully deliver instruction undoubtedly. A large factor of our effectiveness in the classroom. Two, women deliver successful instruction by providing differentiated learning opportunity, incorporate pedagogical practice and check for understanding. Two, women do all much to communicate the lesson of Jetsi, clearly and confirming that the students understand what we are. When the students know what lesson objectives are, how they relate to how they relate to unit, as well as mastery of those objectives actually look like, they tend to be more engaged and and successful. Thanks. I think somebody wants to pass the book again. Good day to you all. I am Miss Ismi Tindris. I want to oppose the motion which says participation of women in teaching profession to be encouraged more than that of men. All my listeners, men have the ability to create an effective learning environment and cultivate a sense of mutual respect to students. It's an important, it's an important indicator of success in the classroom. When teachers do apply an expectation to, to an environment that is conducive with learning and insist on hard work, men as an educator do give consistent responses to good and poor behavior performance so that students understand how the learning environment operates. Students have a better chance of succeeding when the learning environment, when the learning environment consists of well established standards of conduct as well as clear goals and expectations. Thank you. Any contribution from the uh, audience? So, in the absence of contribution, we now give this chance to Mr. Judge to announce the winner. I'm happy about this uh, topic and the organizer especially. And uh, as we all here and we have heard what the children has uh, said, and uh, looking at the points they have given out so far, and from the experience of those who have gone beyond secondary school up to university level, you will be a witness to most of what they are talking about here today. And uh, from their points, the supporting and proposing group so far were able to have uh, 73%, while the opposing group were able to have 70%. Because it imagine they are very, very close. At the end of the day, our women are still able to take the point. So please, we need to praise Allah for them. May Allah include them and encourage them more in wealth and knowledge as well. The topic titled, Female Education is Better Than Male Education or Male Education is Better by Suleiman bin Adam and Mu'al bin Abdul Mumin. As an African child, born and brought up in Africa, we all protocol really observe. I am by name Mu'al bin Abdul Mumin from Pamarifo. I am standing here before you and unshakable to boast and oppose the motion. Who says male education is better than female education? Before I proceed, I would like to emphasize more on the word that Male education and female education in a layman language. And education is a process of teaching, training, learning, especially in the school and college, to improve knowledge and develop skills. I can't possibly believe that male education is better than female education. This is so because it is said when you train a woman, you have train a nation. He may just has proper of bringing up from her mother, who is educated, the child will be able to pass the knowledge. She has a control to her own development children because the closest to the children is their mother. So they imitate whatever behavior their mother display on their present. I can't possibly agree that male education is better than female education. It decides that an educated woman will try as much as possible to embark project, political program, and ideas that will lead the promote of all nations, like information through technology, effectivization, decision of resources, and eradication of corruption. 
I would like to ask you a question. Is that anything which male educated, white female educated, don't do absolutely nothing? So as I'm saying, female education is very related to the development of our nation. In addition, an educated female, not just but educated, but morally, academically, physically, psychologically, economically educated, such as our great woman, Flora Shaw. She's the one who gave the name Nigeria. And Uroka Kai, she's the female psychiatrist in Nigeria. And Betta Johnson, she's the female psychiatrist in Nigeria. And Isabel Paran of Argentina, she's the female president in the whole world. And Flora Wapa, she's the female authorizer in Nigeria. Mrs. Tinyere Onye Mauche, she's the first female pilot in Nigeria. Thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As an African child, born and brought up in African, Mr. Chairman, panel of judges, I could thank them all of the protocol dealers. I have my next remand in the hand of Dr. Malifo. Here, this special moment to support the motion. We say that male education is better than female education. First and foremost, education simply means the process of learning how to read the writing, how to become someone better in life. It turns out in the learning of moral knowledge, wisdom, and academic consideration. Female are the wife of male education is better than male education is better than female education because male, male are the head of the family that take care of the family with his hard and money. When a man is educated, he can take care of the whole family and bring her support and be a responsible person in the society. That is a popular saying the week that says female education and the kitchen. Because no matter how your mama or a woman goes for into education, she must get married. Secondly, if she gets married, she must go for her husband. Secondly, woman education is dangerous in the tertiary institution where they carry out dangerous activities like abortion, having sex with the lecturers, party, cultists, and at the end of the day, they will end up leaving the school. Nowadays, most of the female graduates in the market sell the paper with a new child, looking for a man to call the father of the child. It is good for them to stay at home in the housewife. If, if then tell me how many females did actually did it because of engineering or a doctor. And why? Because women have no level of understanding that cannot contain every circumstance. Some circumstance of fashion with this enlightened point of mind. I hope I am able to convince you that male education is better than female education. Thanks. The next on the list of our programs is debate on the topic Nigerian can be better against Nigerian cannot be better by Hassana bin Sadiq and Sophia bin Isa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As an African child, born and brought up in African way, Mr. Chairman, panel of judges, accurate thank you and coordinators and coordinators, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good day to you all. I am by name Hassan Ben I am from Pamarifo. I am standing here unshakable to boast and oppose the motion. We says Nigeria cannot be better. Not to put up the now to put up before the court, I would like to emphasize you on the more Nigeria. Nigeria is a country named by Flora Shaw in West Africa, by which happen to be the giant of Africa. Now to emphasize more on the topic discussed, Nigeria has been ruled by military and civilian group of government, such as our great leaders, Dr. Enam Diazikiwe, Major General Gonyi Ronsi, General Mutala Mohamed, General Olu Seguna Basanjo, Alahaji Sheikh Shagari, General Muhammad Buhari, General Ibrahim Babanjida, Ina Shonika, General Sani Abacha, General Abdesalami Abubakar, Olu Seguna Basanjo, Alahaji Umar Yaradua, Ullo Kebele Jonathan and Muhammad Buhari till date. Here seems to go down the drill and it seems to worry when we are thinking that it's gotten better. All of the letter relates to them and those that are working with them as their godfather. But also had part of this that lead before. How can a country that is led by the same group of government but different umbrella be a funny good chase? It's most if not all of them are there for their selfishness interest or the interest of all party godfather. They read that you depart them to call money in their private accounts are above the law. But the poor that try hold to earn a living still have to pay tax justice to temper with mercy in the case of free but no so in the case of poor. How can a country that is fundamental human right not just abide by getting forward in a better way when all that is done is to favor the rich and oppress the poor? 
and oppress the poor. How can Nigeria be better when all the things that is prohibited by Almighty God has become our part and puzzle of our society, such as prostitution, and robbing, kidnapping, embezzlement of public funds, examination and practice, rape, violence, attack, and corruption? It is not the order of the day and it being seen as a normal thing. Now to emphasize more on the word corruption, what is corruption? Corruption is a misuse of power either in the public or private organization. I can't possibly believe that Nigeria can be better when such evilly lawful and non progressive attacks dominate our country, Nigeria. Out of 100% of the citizens, only 5% of the citizens is trying to reframe themselves from such corrupt and immoral acts. I would like to ask a question. Is it possible for just 5% of the citizens to make Nigeria a better country? Of course, no. Okay, do you want to tell me that Nigeria can be better when all our leaders are mismanaging the wealth of the nation? A light part of Nigeria were to a simply stolen through the reflected contract fraud and dubious method. Millions of dollars were lost in foreign banks. Does it make Nigeria a better place? Absolutely no. On the other, on the other hand, here yeah, I same Nigeria abbreviation. Never, never expect a world always. NPC, Nigeria National People Cause, NYSC, Nigeria so Suffering Continue. In, in conclusion, millions of students were graduated from tertiary institutions every year, but not good for them. Does it make Nigeria a better country? No. With this great and enlightened point of mind, I hope I have been able to convince you, not to confuse you, that Nigeria cannot be better. Thanks. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day, Mr. Chairman, panel of judges, accurate timekeeper, co-debaters and coordinator, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am my name, Sophia Bintisa, standing here to oppose the motion. We say Nigeria cannot be better. I can't possibly believe that Nigeria cannot be better. If the government should increase investment in all sectors, especially agricultural, manufacturing and education, which will help to reduce our unemployment in Nigeria, the establishment made by private individual contribute so much of and development of manufacturing companies in Nigeria. When the government provides more funds to support this small and medium enterprise, it to boost productivity. It's very unfortunate for a citizen in Nigeria to say our country cannot be better. If there is direct investment in production by the government to supplement productivity private efforts, or only government owned enterprise in order to increase the share of industries and commercial ventures, I stand firm to say that Nigeria can be better. If Nigeria replies the attitude toward the working in private and public sector, to be boost productivity, proper accountability of resources promoting, exports rather than relying on importation for foreign products in Nigeria. In addition, recruitment should be on merit and not tribalism, nepotism, favoritism, or foreign products in Nigeria. Or, or foreign products in Nigeria. In conclusion, diversification of economy, truth and balance of various sector, and reduce of reliance on a single product, fuel. The provisions of capital through the establishment of financial instituted like Nigeria, Industry Development Bank and Agricultural Development Bank to make loan to investors. Thanks. Shalom. The next on our list of presentation is Asaka. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ismi Umama bin Mustafa. Min Marosa Timar Kazan de Tunga or Jama, see we last cook in Nigeria. We shall lose our cooking. Lacum as dwell, Lucas is Saudi. Invocation for wine cutting dress. Alhamdulillah, Lady Kasani has our own company in Gari House, Minuola Kuba. All praise be to Allah, who has protected me with this and provided it for me without my touch of power. Assalamu alaikum. Inshallah, the next presenter is Aisha Ben Swadik. Dawa, coming to present Dawa on the topic Aisha. Our responsibilities as Muslims. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Auzu lillahi ina shaitani wa rajim. Bismillahi wa rahmanu wa rahim. Wa salatu wa salam. Ala rasul. Wa ala ali. Wa ashabi. And my, my respected elders. And my dear brothers and sisters. I welcome all of you to this lovely greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, 
mercy and blessing of Father Subhanahu wa be on all of you. Mm -hmm. The topic of my talk is our responsibilities as Muslim. As Salah Subhanahu wa Taala said, in Surah Al Alimud, chapter three, verse one hundred and ten, "Kuntum hayra umma, ohiyat lil nas." You are the best of people involved for Makkah. Tamuruna bil maruf, wa talhau na anil mukar, wa tuminuna bil la. You enjoy what is right and forbid what is wrong and believe in Allah. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is giving us an honor by calling us hayra umma. That is the best of people involved for Makkah. And when there is an honor, it is always followed up with the responsibility. There is no honor without responsibility. For example, a principal has got more honor than a teacher. Likewise, a principal has got more responsibility than a teacher. Others one or other said, we should enjoy what is right and forbid what is wrong and believe in Allah. Wa and Rabbil The next presenters are coming to present uh, the part of the woman body. The presenters for the part of the woman body.
that if the summary I want to this with are mathematics, English, general paper, and Arabic language. We are going to start with mathematics, inshallah. We are having about six questions here. You are to attempt two questions in each group. Are you listening? Then, group A, choose your question. What is the multiplicative inverse of minus 3 over 2? I repeat. What is the multiplicative inverse of minus 3 over 2? A. 3 over minus 2. B. 3 over 2. C. 2 over minus 3. A. Absolutely wrong. Now, group B, choose your question. I think of a number. 14 added to the number gives 29. I repeat. I think of a number. 14 added to the number gives 29. What number I am taking off? A. 15 B 14 C 29 Absolutely correct Now Go A Use your question once again Number four. Solve the inequality. Five minus two is greater than or equal to s minus four. I repeat. Five minus two is greater than or equal to. S minus 4. Option. S greater than or equal to 3. B. S less than or equal to 3. C. S less than or equal to minus 3. Absolutely correct. Now, Ruby, give your question. You said express zero point six two five in percentage. Express zero point six two five in percentage. A. 625%. B. 0.625%. C. 6.25%. C. 6.25%. Absolutely correct. That is the end of the mathematics in Sheraton. The next subject there is English language. We are having about six questions here. Each question carries two marks. Then group A. Choose your question. Number two. Number two. Listen to the instruction carefully. Choose the word that is opposite the underline in the following sentence. Listen to the sentence now. 
what some of us is like about her is what some does. What some of us is like about her is what some does. A. The other line, what there is dislike. A. Need. B. Like. C. I'm home. Absolutely wrong. B. There's no bonus. Now, group B. Number three. Listen to the instruction. Pick out the correct answer to each of the following sentences. I prefer rice dash beans. I prefer rice dash beans. A. Down. B. On. C. To. A. Absolutely wrong. Now, group A, one more chance. The same question, pick out the correct answer to each of the following sentences. Adamu is taller, but Ali is the dash. Adamu is taller, but Ali is the dash. A. Tallest. B. Most tallest. C. More taller. Tallest. Absolutely correct. <laughs> now, go B. Number five. Listen to this Russian. Choose the word nearest in meaning to the one underlined in this sentence. The teacher was annoyed with the class. The teacher was annoyed with the class. A. Amused. B. Hungry. C. Confused. Know that annoyed was underlined. Be absolutely correct. That is the end of English language. The next subject there is general paper. Uh, we are having about 12 questions here. You are to attend four questions in each group. Now, group A. Number one. The main teaching of Addis number one of an of Ali Nawawi collection is dash. The main teaching of Addis number one Nawawi collection is dash. A Hajj. B Zakah. C intention. C intention. Absolutely correct. Now, group B, is your question. Number 10. What is the chemical symbol for potassium? What is the chemical symbol for potassium? A, A, N. B, K, C, C, A. B. B is what? K. Absolutely correct. Now he said, No, therefore, wearing of that is not allowed for men in Islam. Wearing of that is not allowed for men in Islam. A. Blue dresses. B. Silver. C. Gold. 
is what? Good. Absolutely correct. Now, groovy. Number six. What type of energy is contained in foods? What type of energy is contained in food? A. Chemical energy. B. Electrical energy. C. Solar energy. A. Chemical energy. Correct. Now, number two. Number two. Number two. An electric motor converts electric energy to dark energy. An electric motor converts electrical energy to dark energy. A. Chemical. B. Mechanical. C. Sounds. Mm, absolutely wrong. Now, who will you choose your question? Number five. Number five. The absorption of digested foods take place in the dash. I repeat. The absorption of digested food takes place in the dash. A. Small intestine. B. Stomach. C. Large intestine. A. Small intestine. Absolutely correct. Um, G, uh, group A, choose your question. Number five. Number five. It's the answer. Number twelve. Number twelve. All right. Easy, attentive. The solar that has no recoil. And sujood is referred to as dash. The solar that has no recoil and sujood is referred to as dash. A. Solar to light. B. Solar to haja. C. Solar to janaza. C. Solar to janaza. Absolutely correct. Now, group B. No, but same. A worshiper terminates his prayer with dash. A worshiper terminates his prayer with dash. A. Basmala. B. Tasharu. C. Taslim. Hey, Basmala, absolutely wrong. That is the end of. <laughs> so the next subject there is Arabic language. We are having about six questions here. Are you all getting it? They're listening attentively. Now, Group A, choose your question. Number one. Zahaba dash ilal madrosati. Zahaba dash ilal madrosati. Alifun. Fatimatu. Baun. Aliyun. Dadun. Zainabun. Aliyun. Aliyun. Absolutely correct. Now I'm group B. Huh? 
No, but to the right. Ik no but you right. Ikolabat. Iklabat dash hami do wakada yamus. Iklabat dash hami do wakada yamus. Alifum Sajaratum. Baum Sajarata. Dalun Sajarati. Yeah. 